All right, let's implement the settings. So the work I have done so far on this is as follows. Uh, so the, the UI works where I can go to settings and click these toggle buttons and it actually works. Uh, th that includes the server side um, data capture of that. So when you click these buttons, it will send that information to the server, it will save it, you can come back later and it'll be what you set it to. Pretty cool. Um, now, anytime you're allowing the client to save data explicitly like that, you want to be very careful um, to avoid ex exploitations. Uh, so in this instance, you know, when uh, I click around, the server is very specific on what data is coming through and allowed. Um, so I can't just write a fake setting that doesn't actually exist. And that's checked server side. Uh, another thing is, uh, you know, preventing spamming the server. So if I click a bunch of times, how is the server going to respond to that? Well, that's actually throttled. And so the client side, at least, at the very least, will throttle those requests to some degree so that it doesn't spam the server. And the server will kind of watch that as well. So anyway, that's what I have so far. But what I want to work here is implementing pitch and roll. And uh, actually, if I go to the UI, uh, it's under hanger, pages, settings. <clears throat> There's actually two inversions for each, uh, for, for, for pitch and then two for roll. And you'll see there's a difference between gamepad and mouse. Now the gamepad ones will only show up if you have a gamepad connected and then it would hide the mouse one. So right now I'm using a mouse, so the mouse ones show up. Um, so I, I basically have two invert pitches and two invert rolls that I need to implement based on the control schema uh, in the game. And again, this is just going to invert, invert pitch, which is the elevators in the back here of the plane. Um, so going up and down and then roll is left and right. So if I just actually press play, I can show that. So see, I, I move the mouse up and it makes the elevators go up. And so I tilt up, uh, down, down. And same thing with roll to the right, roll to the left. You'll see my mouse corresponds to that direction. Now, if I invert it, it should be the opposite way. So if I went down, I should go up or left and then I go right. Okay, so that's what I want to implement. Let's dive into it. So this is my code base for the game. Uh, the code I'm going to be looking at is my flyer module. This is a module shared by both the server and the client to fly the aircraft. And it also includes all the client side controls, which I need to actually split up and into its own module. This is getting a little big, uh, but I actually have separate update uh, functions for a keyboard and mouse and also another one for gamepad. And so being able to separate those settings would be pretty simple. It's just a matter of fetching those settings more than anything. Now, because the client is flying it, it's going to be a client side and I already have a client side module that will pull the player settings from the server and so i can access this module i can call git and that will give me a table of the player settings and what are these player settings they are defined here so when i call settings git on the client i will have a table that looks like this and so I'll be able to access invert pitch mouse, gamepad, and invert roll mouse and gamepad, music, sound effects. And I'll probably expand on this, add more as time goes on, but for now I want to implement these four in particular. So going back to the flyer, let's do uh, mouse first, since I don't have the gamepad hooked up at the moment. And this is how we control the plane with the mouse and keyboard. So we'll see that we are capturing WASD keys, we're capturing space, we're capturing X key, and then we're applying those controls here after we kind of mess with the data. And so what we wanna do is mess with roll and pitch. So if we're inverting, <coughs> sorry, if we're, if we're inverting these values, the way we do that is simply by negating uh, the input. So that should be pretty straightforward. Uh, essentially what we'll have um, written is something as simple as if 
player settings, and I know this isn't defined yet, if player settings dot invert pitch mouse, then controls dot pitch equals negative controls dot pitch. And so we can just negate it. Now there are a lot of different ways we could do this. Uh, we could write this in one line. In fact, I'll probably do this instead where I'll do that and negative or y ratio to positive. And so that's going to, to or I guess if I, if I read this out in English better. So if the player settings invert pitch mouse value is true, then we want to use the inverted value of our y ratio. And y ratio is the y position of the mouse on screen from top to bottom. Uh, from negative one to one. So where, where zero is the center of the screen. And, and so we want to invert that value if we want to invert it, otherwise we use the normal value. And then same thing with the rule. So we can say player settings dot invert rule mouse, and then use the negative X ratio or X ratio. Okay, so pretty straightforward. Now we just have to define player settings. So the where we're going to do this, we have a specific initialization function for clients somewhere in here. <laughs> Maybe we don't. So we have a start client. We'll use that. Or even just start. Yeah, here we go. We'll do it here. So this is a, a one-time run area based on my framework. So when this module is first loaded on the client, it will run everything in here. So we're gonna say player settings equals self.modules.settings git. And settings can change. And so to update that, we do self.modules.settings.changed, which I have defined as such, connect, and we will just override the old value. And right now I don't have any good spot to place that variable. This is what I mean by needing to organize this more. So we're just gonna throw it right here. And just like that, that should work. So. I guess to read this back in our flyer script, and again, this controls actually flying the aircraft, we've defined player settings there, or the variable at least, and then we initialize that value uh, on the client. Again, this is a shared module. So in this case, if it's not the server, we know we're running this on the client, then we go and grab the settings and define it. And also we watch for changes to it and we Make sure we always have the updated version of settings. And lastly, in our control loop, where we're updating the keyboard and mouse controls, and this is run every uh, step, every frame, uh, we assign our roll and pitch based on those inversion values. All right, so let's try it out. So I already know that the normal non-inverted works. So I'm going to invert pitch and let's see if that works. So if I go down, I go up and if I put the mouse up, I should go down. Yep. That works. Awesome. So now I need to do the same with uh, my uh, roll. And I have the sound muted. There is there is sound involved in the game. Just can't hear it right now. So now let's invert roll and not pitch. And yep, it works. So if I put the mouse to the right, I bank left. Put the mouse to the left, I bank right. Okay. So it all works. Cool. So yeah, again, I just wanted to kind of demonstrate kind of a workflow of how to implement something like this into one of these games.